Hey guys, Anna Kruger here with the ISA MAPS Coaching Program. And today is a follow-up to our last email. And today we're gonna to talk about how do you tackle an old database or how, say you inherited a database from someone that left the team, or maybe you're new on the team and you've got a couple hundred leads in there and you have no idea the history because no one's talked to them in quite a while. What do you do? So one of the best things you can do is implement the six call and six business day strategy. So what is that? You're actually gonna treat it like a new lead. Harvard Business Review did a study. They did it over the course of three years. They actually did it back in 2012. And what they found is if you call a lead six times in six days, there is a 90% chance that they will pick up or call you back. Now, in case you're thinking that was 2012, is it different now? They actually went to redo the study recently uh, to get that updated information and they found it's actually the same. They were halfway through the study and abandoned it because it was the same data that they had in 2012. So six times in six days, that is the magic formula. So what you're gonna do is say that you have a database of say a thousand leads and you don't really know the history. And say today is Monday. You're gonna, put, you're gonna go ahead and pick a group of people to call and you're gonna call however many of them you can today, Monday. And you're gonna get through, say, 100 leads on Monday. And of those 100 people, you're gonna to talk to maybe 20. I'm just picking numbers here, guys. Talk to maybe 20, so you're gonna set appropriate future tasks for the 20 that you talk to. And you're gonna have about 80 people that you did not contact. For the ones that have a voicemail, you are going to leave them a voicemail one. Today's Monday, voicemail one. Tomorrow, you are going to call the same list. And this is where a lot of people don't get the callbacks because they, the next day they start calling a completely different list of people and you're not consistent. So day one, call 100 people, talk to 20, you'll have 80 left. Tuesday, call the 80 that you have left and leave your voicemail to or contact. So say another 20 people pick up the phone. Now you have 60 people left and uh, 40 of them you've now talked to and set appropriate future tasks. Then on Wednesday, guess what? You're gonna call that list of 60. So you called them Monday, you called them Tuesday. Now you're gonna call that list on Wednesday. Same list from Monday minus all the people you talked to. And you're going, you're going to again, say you reach another 20 people. And as you can see throughout the week, this list is going to get smaller. What you will find is a lot of people will start calling you back on the fourth or fifth day. So if you start this on a Monday, a lot of your callbacks will start rolling in on that Thursday, Friday, maybe even the following Monday, because it's six calls and six business dates. Now for the voicemails, you are going to leave a voicemail strategy, and it's not going to be, hey, it's Anna from the Harvard Group, call me back. That's the same repetitious voicemail over and over. What you're going to do is your first voicemail is going to be somewhat general to pique their interest. So it might be, hey, it's Anna from the Haro Group, call me back, I saw you were interested in real estate and I would love to help, something like that. Voicemails two through four, you are going to leave a short value add with a specific call to action. So that might sound like, hey, this is Anna, call me back. We do typically sell homes one third faster than other competitive realtors in the area. Call me back so I can save you time on the market. My number is blah, 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 call me today by five. So I've left a specific value add with a call to action, call me today by five. So your first voicemail, general, voicemails two, three, and four, a, a little snippet about the team and then call me back by a specific time. And then your last voicemail, you're going to say something like, hey, it's Anna, you know, I've left you a bunch of voicemails. I don't know if you're just super busy or not interested, but would you let me know either way? I don't wanna pester you, yet I do wanna help you if you'd like help. So just let me know either way what I can do for you, and then give your number. When you do this, you will find that you have a 90% pickup or callback ratio. It is much more effective to go small and focus on that list for five to six days than to try to call all 1,000 leads one time here and there sporadically. Think about it. If you only had a sporadic call from a number, how likely would you be and how urgent would you be to call them back? But if you had the same number calling you in a short period of time, after a few calls, you're gonna start thinking, gosh, I wonder what this call's about, and either pick it up or call them back. So that's the strategy. Go small, you'll get better results, and then work your way through the list. So pick a list this week, hit it hard, five to six days in a row. The next week, pick a different one. While you're doing this, make sure you keep up with new leads. We always gotta prioritize those new leads. And what I suspect is within a couple weeks, 
you will have your database completely sorted and you'll have a good, nice list of people that you can call. All right, guys, thanks for watching and you'll see me on the next video. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email, mapscoachanna at gmail.com. All right, guys, have a great day.